Ooh, However, but, not yeah. an item character coming up. Zoomy Zoom Boy coming up. We have Sonic Pac-Man. I'm trying to think about the last time that I saw this matchup. Um, it's 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 definitely been a, a bit of a while. This is the kind of a matchup where whoever takes that first stock is going to be dominating the pace of the rest of the set. We're running away is what we're doing after we take that first stock in this matchup. Um, and certainly I can only imagine that Sinji and um, Blue Striker, once getting that first stock, will be doing just that. Um, Sinji going to be getting behind that Hydrant, and Blue Striker going to be kind of sitting at the opposite of the stage, allowing Sinji to come to Sonic. Yeah, and Blue Striker is just not taking oh. any damage to the game. Trampoline going to be saving Sinji. And it's it's just good insurance. It's a good get out of jail free card. And that was an incredibly scary situation for Striker. Pixels away from falling into that red trampoline, just barely getting the yep. um, the spring out in time. Yeah, having a spike that you can at least land on stage with is, is fine and all, but when you have a stall and fall and you have to go off stage with the opponent like that, that is something that you have to keep in mind. So Blue Striker just has to really add that into his flow chart of decision making, just making sure that he keeps himself safe. He's going to be safe this time, but maybe the next time uh, th there might be an issue. And that is one situation that we've seen in the past in the uh, King Arc versus uh, Zamba Ooh. set. Um, Sonic is a character without a hitbox on, it, on their, their upbeat. And Pac-Man has a, a lot of moves that have lingering hitboxes. Sinji's done a good job so far. Loses that first stock, but we're going to see if he can continue to utilize uh, those lingering hitboxes to catch Sonic as Sonic comes back to stage. But honestly, Sonic is so fast and has so much recovery mix, uh, especially using side B to be able to go high. Um, is a character like Pac-Man capable of, of locking down somebody with so much mobility? Uh, I mean, Blue Striker has just been doing a good job of making themselves so ambiguous and just really like rushing down Sinji, which honestly doesn't happen all that often. Especially being in a state like Ooh. New York, as you mentioned before, with the lack of Sonic players that we do have, this is a matchup that might be difficult for Sinji, being there is a lack of matchup experience here. Yeah, Blue Striker is just taking this one patiently, just mm -hmm. waiting for Sinji to overcommit, press a button that he maybe shouldn't. He has no reason to even go in on this, waits for that one pull button press, and is able to use that as another opening in. Look at Sonic's burst range. Look at his immediate area of effect. From center stage to the edge, he is able to cover that. And Pac-Man, a character that, conversely, is incredibly slow on the floor, or at least rel uh, relatively to the rest of the cast, and especially in comparison to Sonic, doesn't really have the time to necessarily react with a hitbox. He doesn't have enough time to set up. And Normally, Sinji has a Hydrant out there. He has a food out there already, waiting for you to be able to come in. Blue Striker is just waiting for that startup, and then uses that as his opening. And you've seen it's been tough for Sinji to even to get wall. Ooh. Ooh! We got confirms? We got confirms. Yeah. Death. Uh, even on the tall blast zones of uh, town and city, still going to be able to get that stuck. And Blue Striker dominant in this game, number one so far. Um, Sinji looking uh, lo looking for this stock and is certainly having some trouble. Um, really, because I think, you can, well, if you do neutral B. As soon as you wave neutral B, that's like a second of lag. Yeah. No, that's like, that's, that is that is a free smash attack for anybody in the whole cast. You see Sonic do that? That is a big opening. No matter where you are, you probably are capable of punishing it. So so please, please do that. And uh, speaking oh. of, and we might get a big punish here with the Galaxian, just barely air dodging mm. out of it there is Blue Striker. Yeah, pretty uncharacteristic of Sinji. Uh, normally, he's just able to get so much damage so consistently. And now Sinji's just looking for that opening to be able to get back onto the stage. Just waiting so patiently on the Town and City platform. Love that dash back to try to get behind Sinji and wait for his next option. Ooh. And despite the fact that that neutral B on whiff uh, is something that is incredibly um, scary oh, no. for Sonic to be dealing with Mistech. Ooh. That, that patience from Blue Striker was so key because if he directional air dodged in in that moment, Sinji had the right idea, but the timing mix up did everything. That was a, a lot just happened. Yeah, that was incredibly scary there. Uh, Hydrant acting as a wall, it kind of leads to the one situation in this game where you can get wall combos. And uh, Sinji, certainly aware, almost ended up getting a confirm off of that uh, fair into the Hydrant. That's oh, no. Death. Ooh, oh, wow, not no, quite. not quite, yeah. Uh, Blue Striker all the way from across the stage, just waiting a little bit. The wind box actually going to be pushing Bell out of play. And now Sinji has nothing set up. The hitbox of the Hydrant is going to be clanking uh, with Sonic side B. Oh, my. Oh my. And with, with that said, we've seen now that Sinji has had the time to get the wall set up, Sinji has seen success. 
and he's been able to keep uh, Blue Striker out for extended periods of time. Uh, now, however, not going to have time to set up a wall. Again, you, like, as you mentioned before, Dar, that area effect <gasps> that Sonic has allows the Great burst, catch. allows uh, him to get into Pac-Man's burst yep. range, allows him to get that stock. Huge for Blue Striker in that how last did, hit situation. How did Sinji get hit? I want to see. I want to see a replay of that last stock Ooh. really quickly. Buffered fair to get out of hit stun. Um, gets hit by fair. Do we well, have the replay, Devin? Maybe. Yeah, I want. To, uh, can we get a replay on that last stock, Dev? Yeah. So I'm just like I'm curious, like what happened here. So he was able to find the neutral B, and then what happened here? What are we pressing? Bear and why are we pressing stop. buttons? That's, yeah. Why are we pressing pressing bear there? We're pressing buttons out of disadvantage. Within okay, so so this it's range. Not, it's if, not, here's I, the thing. Normally, right? You 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 in a position, right? Where you think, hey, I think I should still be pretty safe here. Because, because look where Sonic is relative to you, but he's able to get there so quickly. Sonic he, zooms. In, in, in a matter of a second, he was just able to occupy all of this space. He was able to get there so quickly <laughs> and, 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 and catch him pressing buttons at this advantage. Dar, you crack me up, the little speedy things behind Sonic. Oh, no, that was Devin. Oh, it was Devin? That was ah, Devin. Thank you, Devin. You crack yeah. me up. Uh, <laughs> So yes, uh, Sinji masked back air out of disadvantage, uh, trying to get out of hit some in time. However, uh, Blue Striker, with Sonic's incredible uh, burst, is able to get over there yeah. in time, get that punish. And we're seeing so far, uh, Blue Striker using mm -hmm. that burst range to great effect. Yeah, normally people are once again like acquainted to press buttons out of disadvantage at a certain space against most of the cast. You need to accommodate and to be able to adjust relative to characters like Sonic. You need to understand that their area of effect is much bigger and you need to be reacting from a much earlier point in their animation. And that's what can make them so particularly frightening uh, when you're in disadvantage sometimes. Ooh, and actually, uh, this is a run back from winner's bracket. So, Sinji beat uh, Blue Striker in winners. Ooh. So, Blue Striker has adapted very clearly, uh, was playing incredibly well, in fact, dominating the game number one up until the very, very end. Uh, however, Sinji has adopted a new sort of play style here. I think staying in the corner, keeping Sonic's burst range at the maximum amount possible mm -hmm. has been good for Sinji and has allowed Sinji to set up a wall that in previous games he has not been able to, mm -hmm. other than in short circumstances. I really like that Blue Striker respected the fact that Sinji had a lot of recovery mix left. He was like, hey, I don't want to overcommit here. I'm just going to go back onto the stage and maybe ledge trap you if you do end up going to the ledge. Blue Striker able to get the wave punish on that, goes all the way low. He might be regretting that choice. Wow, no air dodge at all. An excellent mix up. Sinji certainly expecting that. And Blue Striker manages to get back to the stage despite an incredibly precarious situation without a jump. And how does he find his way back to center stage? Sinji, instead of choosing to ledge trap, recognizes I don't have any tools right now, tries to go back and take that brief fleeting moment to charge up bonus food again. That is where a lot of, uh, you know, like your decision making as Pac-Man really comes into play. Do I choose to ledge trap here or do I give up a little bit of stage to try to manage my resources? And we've seen so far, despite a huge lead by Sinji, Pac-Man's inability to get stocks in a way that is... Um uh, necessarily safe on a character that is as fast as Sonic is, uh, has proven difficult and we've seen multiple times. A nice Whoa! mix! DBZ! There's a lot <laughs> happening! There's a lot of hitboxes! Sinji's angle on the side B, kind of pog. Uh, th th those are a little bit unconventional. I love the mix. Yeah. I don't know how they both died. I would love to see a replay on that at some point. The delay certainly was very good by Sinji, and that angle that um, Sinji took allowed for that delay to happen, and the very, very minimum forced the trade. Yeah. However, needless to say, a good trade for Blue Striker. He was down about 50% that time around. Blue Striker going to be dominating center stage, waits out for that bonus food from disadvantage, just keeping Sinji off stage. does not find that two frame with down smash, but Blue Striker just has so much momentum to his name. And well, with that said, something that I have noticed very much so from Blue Striker, not only uh, today, but uh, from last Xeno as well, Blue Striker's edge guards with the uh, spring are truly excellent, something that is unique to his gameplay. Um, I've seen really uh, on characters that you would anticipate get back to stage very easily, uh, it just allows for Sonic to get a little bit of extra time to get those punishes off, get those clean ledge traps off. Uh, and Blue Striker's done an excellent job of that so far in this set. Ooh, Blue Shaker tries to get the whiff punish on dash attack, but that move has virtually no end lag on it. So now Blue Shaker, how is he going to be able to find this stock? Let's that back in the ledge again, as I mentioned. It's so clean in that S smash. It's a big boy hitbox, and that's going to be it's taking big. out. It's a large hitbox, and that takes out um, Sinji. And, whoo, 43%. 
Booster says, I got combos on my own that do big damage. Mm -hmm. yeah, I feel like Fire Hydrogen in this matchup has not been doing as many favorites for Sinji as it usually would. Uh, and that it just doesn't keep Blue Striker pinned through lockdown. He's able to hit through it pretty well. He's still able to move through it and dash through it um, as, as he normally would. Like, look at that. Yeah, that and yeah, Hydrogen as a walling tool is, is typically very excellent. But again, with burst range like Sonic's, it kind of gets um, at least minimalized in how much uh, how effective it is. Mm -hmm. I really like how Blue Striker is just getting really close to Sinji at this point and waiting for his next defensive option. And then they're just able to whip on a shutdown reaction. Um, gotta say, Blue Striker just wow. seems to have such a good handle on this and is able to catch the low recovery. Sinji thought that he was safe. Blue Striker went down there. Wow, and a little bit of a pop off in the background. We do love to see that. With that said, um, that is, you know, a run back, as we mentioned earlier. And the adaptation from Blue Striker, I think, in this set in general, had to be the edge guard game. Blue Striker. Uh, that jump was everything. That jump? Oh my god, wait, it's not synced for me. The down, the down B jump? The side B jump? I forget if it's down B or side B that you can jump with. It's down B, right? W one of them. It's uh, the, the, spinny, the spinny move that you can go forward with, with can, this, that you can jump with. With this jump right here, uh, Sinju is already pressing a button out of disadvantage. His thought is, oh man, I remember how I lost my stock in game one. I was getting whiff punished through pressing buttons for mid stage. But the way that he jumps right here, Blue Striker establishes, hey, I can cover high right now. And, and forces Sinji to pick an option. And I want to add, Sinji once again clicked back out of disadvantage, putting him in a spot where he had to go low. Yep, he couldn't. He couldn't spend his time in in, in this position. He could have spent his time charging side B, uh, maybe going through like a little bit more fruit to try to uh, threaten Blue Striker. But because he had already chosen to press back out of disadvantage, he wants to get out as quickly as possible. He forced himself into recovering low. And I want to say that's a recognition by Sinji for sure. 